So it's a really strong offensive tackle class where you have a couple of big names at the top and Panay Sewell from Oregon and Rayshon Slater from Northwestern. But you're going to be able to find starters at that position well into the second round and maybe in, even into the third, Carol, which is rare. You know, usually these tackle prospects that have everything that you're looking for in terms of size and athleticism, those guys go off the board early because they're just rare humans. You don't find many guys built like that. But this year, for whatever reason, there I would say – there may be 10 or 12 of those types of players who could end up starting in the next year or two that are going to be available. So it's a great class there. It's a great receiver class. Again, this is the third year in a row. Now next year is probably not going to be as strong according to some of the scouts that I've talked to, but this is three years in a row now where the receiver class is absolutely loaded. So you're going to see Jamar chase go off really early. You're going to see Devonte Smith and Jalen Waddle from Alabama go off really early. But again, it's another position where in the second, third, even fourth round, you're going to be able to find guys that are going to end up starting for you that are really good athletes. Some of the testing numbers have been through the roof this pre-draft process, and a lot of that is maybe because it's all pro days now. There's no combine, and so the numbers are a little bit inflated. But the athleticism that you're seeing player for player at that position is just insane. And so that's another spot where every team probably feels like it could use some kind of pass catcher. And if you can wait until the third or fourth round, you're still going to be able to get a guy that you really like some of the positions that are tough. If you're, if you're in need, like I would say tight end outside of Kyle Pitts, who looks like a phenomenal player, but he's going to go maybe in the top five out of Florida. He's a great player at tight end. There's maybe one defensive tackle prospect. Who's going to go in the first round and Christian Barmore from Alabama. So those are the spots where if that's a need for you, it's going to be a tough year because if you don't get one of those, or if you don't get that top, top guy, you might just, be better off waiting until late on day three and just throwing darts at the board there and hoping you get an athlete who can play. But tackle, receiver, if that's what you need right now, you're in a good spot because there are a ton of those types in this year's draft. 